Hello, I'm Dr. Jeremiah Brown. You're about to see a video about a specific treatment for your retinal condition to help save your sight. Having any type of treatment or surgery is an important decision to make. To help you decide if this treatment option is right for you, I want you to understand what to expect. This video will explain how the treatment can help preserve your vision. It also explains the possible risks associated with this treatment. Sit back, relax, and watch this video. We'll be happy to explain any questions that you may have about this retina treatment. At the Brown Retina Institute, we are committed to protecting your sight. Your ophthalmologist has diagnosed a condition in your eye called vitreomacular adhesion, or VMA. VMA is a condition affecting the macula, which is the part of your eye responsible for detailed central vision. Your ophthalmologist has recommended treating your VMA with an injection of medication in your eye. This medication can help to prevent further retinal damage and save your sight. To understand how VMA affects your vision, let's take a look at how the eye works. Light rays enter the eye through the cornea, pupil, and lens. These light rays are focused on the retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. The retina has two areas, the peripheral retina, which gives us our side or wide-angle vision, and the macula, the small area at the center of the retina. The macula gives us our pinpoint vision, allowing us to see detail clearly. The inner eye is filled with a clear, jelly-like substance called vitreous. As we age, the vitreous becomes less like jelly and more like liquid. Usually, the vitreous is only loosely attached to the retina. So as the eye moves, the vitreous moves away from the retina without causing problems. Sometimes, the vitreous does not fully separate from the back of the eye and remains attached to the macula. This is called vitreomacular adhesion, or VMA. If the VMA persists, the force of the vitreous pulling on the macula can cause distorted or blurred vision, or loss of central vision. If left untreated, VMA can lead to severe loss of your vision. In many cases, VMA will resolve on its own without the need for treatment. However, if it doesn't resolve and it is left untreated, VMA can lead to vision loss. Your ophthalmologist will treat your VMA by injecting a medication into your eye. This drug helps the vitreous separate from the retina. To prepare your eye for the injection, your ophthalmologist will clean your eye to prevent infection and numb it with anesthesia to reduce discomfort during the procedure. Your pupils may be dilated or widened with eye drops. The medicine is injected into the vitreous, where it breaks down proteins in the eye that are responsible for the vitreous sticking to the retina. Breaking down these proteins helps the vitreous and retina separate, reducing the chances that the vitreous will tug on the macula and cause vision loss. As with any procedure, there are risks of side effects and complications with medication injections for VMA. Risks and complications associated with the injections may include eye infection, inflammation or swelling within the eye, new floaters, bleeding in the eye, changes in eye pressure, yellowish vision, damage to the eye's retina, cornea, or lens, retinal detachment or retinal tear, and clouding of the eye's lens or cataract. It is possible that your VMA may not get better or may become worse. Any or all of these complications may cause decreased vision or could cause blindness. Additional procedures may be needed to treat these complications. Another treatment option for your VMA is a surgical procedure called vitrectomy, where the vitreous gel is removed from your eye. Your ophthalmologist can explain why he or she chose medication injection for your particular course of treatment. You don't have to be treated for your VMA. However, if it is left untreated, a VMA can lead to serious vision problems, including blindness. Be sure to keep all appointments with your ophthalmologist after treatments. 
Also, if you have any changes in your vision, you should call your ophthalmologist right away. Monitoring your vision is a vital step toward the goal of preserving your sight.